nitrogen-based hydrogen booster. The concept is that a catalyst metal, when heated to the right temperature, will, will release gases that aid combustion. In this case, the catalyst metal is common U.S. nickel coins, which are 75% copper and 25% nickel. The fluid used with most success to date in this application was urine. When the nickels and urine were heated by engine exhaust, an anhydrous ammonia separation reaction occurs. For the test, a 5 horsepower generator was used. A 50% load was placed on the generator. The Wesson bottle was used for the gasoline. The 4 inch white pipe holds the liquid. Human urine. The galvanized pipe on top of the muffler is 1 inch by 6 inch. The outlets on each end go to the top and bottom of the reservoir. The tube at the top of the reservoir goes to a fitting attached to the intake manifold. The pipe with nickels is attached here. It does get exhaust heat. It is very possible to make a design that grabs more heat. A foil blanket was added to trap and retain heat. This larger reservoir was used on a vehicle. Using gasoline and a 50% load, the janitor used 8 ounces and ran 10 minutes. After attaching the reservoir with urine, the gener generator ran 15 minutes with 8 ounces of gasoline. Along with extended fuel economy, some have noted cooler exhaust, cleaner exhaust, smoother running, and more power. A thorough discussion of this project can be found here on OUPower.com. Here is a method to regulate gas flow into the carburetor based on throttle position. 